What is going on guys, Voltic here and welcome back to a brand new video. Before getting into the video, if you do go on to find this very helpful, remember to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on to the channel to never miss a video just like this. Alright, let's get into it. As many of you know, all the moon weapons are being re-added as is this Tuesday. So on today's video, I'll be giving you guys an extensive guide on how to acquire every single lectern of enhancement weapon as of 2021. To start things off, I will be showing you a guide to get each weapon quest as fast as possible. In case you don't have them yet, I will also be providing timestamps for each one, so make sure to check out the description just in case there's a certain one that you're going specifically for. If you already have all the weapon quests and you just want to know how to farm these things as fast as possible, once again, just skip ahead. So first off, we have the Arc Logic, a 600 RPM Arc AR, which drops from defeating HVTs in the moon. Opening up the chest it drops is what gives you the quest. Of course, it's never a 100% guarantee to just drop automatically your first try so if you don't get it just make sure to keep looking for hvts nevertheless let's get on to how to find the captive cord for this quest to get the captive cord go to sorrow's harbor and follow the path that i'm taking on the screen just keep going where i'm going and eventually i'm going to go to this little area and right there you should be able to see the captive cord Which of course once you interact with it now you're on to the kill part so there you go Next up we have the Loud Lullaby, a 120 RPM primary hand cannon. To acquire the quest, you're going to have to complete the entire Shadowkeep campaign until Erismorn basically hands over the quest to you. Now that you've acquired the quest, you're going to be looking for something called the Necromantic Strand. So head over to the Sanctuary Landing Zone and follow the path that I'm taking on the screen. It's gonna lead you to where the Necromantic Strand is. Once there, you're just going to want to interact with it and just now get eliminations and finish activities. For the next one, we have the one small step 140 RPM primary shotgun. To acquire the quest, you're going to have to complete the Nightmare Hunt Rage. Once you finally got the quest to drop for you, you're going to be looking for the Fangs of Shungath. Head over to Sorrow's Harbor Landing Zone and follow the path that I'm taking on the screen which is going to lead you to the Fangs of Shungath. Once there, just interact with it and now just get elims and finish activities once again. Up next, we have the Love and Death 150 RPM Grenade Launcher. To acquire the quest, you're going to have to complete the Nightmare Hunt Insanity. Once you get the quest to drop for you, you're going to be looking for the Bound Manacle. Head over to Sorrow's Harbor Landing Zone and follow the path that I'm taking on the screen. It's going to eventually lead you to where the Bound Manacle is. Once there, look for a knight that you have to defeat called Erithor the Eternal Blade. He will drop the item that you need called Bound Manacle. And once you get it, you're now just going to need to get the elims and finish activities. Now we have the Dream Breaker, a 660 charge time solar fusion rifle. To get the quest, you need to farm the Nightmare Hunt Servitude until you get it to finally drop. Once you got the quest, you are going to be looking for Rather's Horn Wreath. Head over to Sars Harbor Landing Zone and follow the path that I'm taking on the screen. It's going to lead you to Rather's Horn Wreath. One stair, interact with the item, and now you should just get elims and finish activities. For the next one, we have a Fine Memorial, a 450 RPM Arc LMG. To get the quest, it's going to be a random drop from bounties when you're doing them from Eris Morn. Once, of course, you finally get the quest to drop from Eris Morn, you're going to be looking for the Ethereal Charms. To get them, head over to the Sanctuary Landing Zone and follow the path that I'm taking on the screen, which will lead you eventually to the Ethereal Charms. Once there, just interact with the item and now you should just get elims and finish activities. Next up we have Every Waking Moment, a 600 RPM Void SMG. To get the quest is just a random drop from doing public events. Once you get the quest from doing public events, you are now looking for the Withered Plums. Head over to Sars Harbor Landing Zone and follow the path that I'm taking on the screen which will eventually lead you to the Withered Plum.
Once there, interact with the item and now you should just get the elims and finish activities. And now for the next one, we have Tranquility, a primary 90 RPM sniper rifle. To get the quest, it's just a random drop from public events slash killing nightmares on the moon. Once you get the quest, you are now looking for the horn wreath. Head over to Sorrow's Harbor landing zone and follow the path that I'm taking on the screen which will eventually lead you to the horn wreath. Once there, interact with the item and now you should just get elims and finish activities. Up next, we have the Night Terror, a Arc Sword. To get the quest, it's just a drop that's part of the Deathbringer quest when you're in your final Lost Sector K1 Revelation. At the end, there's a little area that you can use with one of your keys and open up this section that basically allows you to get a chance at getting the Night Terror. Once you got the quest, you're now looking for a Round X Hatchet. Head over to Sanctuary Landing Zone and follow the path that I'm taking on the screen, which will eventually lead you to Round X Hatchet. Once there, you're going to see a fallen captain that you're going to want to shoot. Shoot the fallen captain and he's going to drop a Ronix hatchet. And there you go. Now you just want to get eliminations and finish activities. And now finally, we have the Premonition, a 340 RPM Void Pulse Rifle. There is no quest for this one and you just farm Pit of Heresy Dungeon till you complete the Chamber of Suffering section. And right there at the end, there should be a chest that drops with the weapon. Now for some of the easy ways to refarm the weapons. You're going to be needing to have the Lectern of Enchantment unlocked. So make sure you have completed the Shadowkeep campaign. Nevertheless, you're going to be needing to get phantasmal cores in order to buy any of these essence quests which are obtainable by doing nightmare bounties that the lectern has or of course you can farm for some of the phantasmal fragments from doing nightmare hunts altars of sorrow or also doing some of the nightmare bounties from the lectern these essence quests can drop randomly again throughout the moon by doing public events hvt chest nightmare hunts nightmares or just opening a random chest Personally, the best way to get it is by doing Altos of Sorrow and defeating Nightmares to get Phantasmal Fragments to then turn into Phantasmal Cores and then of course you get the Essence Quest. Which by the way, once you obtain one of the Essence Quests, you can go back to the Altos of Sorrow and uh, progress to the Activity section as well as getting Elimination. So it's actually pretty 1000 IQ so make sure to do that so you can also get more Phantasmal Fragments while doing the Essence Quest. Now of course for whatever reason if you do end up abandoning or you can't claim any of the Essence Quests because you know you already had it before but you abandoned it well make sure to go to the tower and check out the quest archive terminal it's probably there but anyways guys that is a guide on how to get all the moon weapons slash the best way to farm them if you go on to have any questions make sure to comment down below and i'll try my best to answer them as fast as possible so drop a like subscribe and turn notifications to never miss a video just like this and share this around to help any of your friends who are having trouble with this as well so as always i guess i'll see you on the next video peace Thank you.